if you guys know, this is probably one of the coolest cars, also owned by one of the coolest dudes. Who are you? I don't know about that. My name is Mike, uh, Divine Media on Instagram. And this is my Toyota Century. You are the, the only one I know outside of obviously probably a couple others, like Driver Motorsport has one, yeah. but like these aren't modified. Everybody wants one, yeah. nobody owns one. Yeah, they're, it's a very obscure, weird car, but once you finally drive one or own one, it's like the greatest thing. Ever. Dude, if you guys don't know, there's a V12 underneath that hood. This is like Toyota's flagship model. They had they made this for how long? 35 years. Yeah, but they years. they only made like a like 12 of them. It yeah. felt like <laughs> literally cuz you could only get this if you're like a special person, right? Right. Yeah, they only sold them to the government or to like the royal family and stuff like that. Okay. So. Well, sh show me around the thing, man. The yeah. thing is wild. So I got this in October of 2022. I've always been a big VIP guy. I've always loved VIP culture. And I had an LS400, I still do, but I wanted like the best thing that I could get. Yep. And that was always the Toyota Century. And this car is just, I, I have no words to like describe <laughs> how this car well, is to drive. It's just the nicest driving car I've ever driven. Period. Yeah, and we we drove one even on air, and it felt like it was better than like stock setups on certain yeah. cars. It's wild what they did with this. What and year? What year is this one? So this is a 1997, which just became legal last year. I immediately just went straight to work on it because I I've wanted this car for a while. I knew what I wanted to do, so I just had a checklist basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Go through, just get all the stuff, all the parts as quick as I could. And, and that's this is not a stock body. No. Yeah, yeah. This so. Is not stock body. Anymore. People, people, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, and I don't mean to say it in a bad way, okay? But these cars without the body kit, they, they don't look the greatest. They look a little grandpa. Yeah, they look a little old. They look the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, the motors, um, yeah. the motors look, <laughs> look at that. There you go. Uh, no, I mean, this has what type of body kit does it have on it? So this is a Junction Produce VIP kit for the car. Okay. Um, I think there's only two companies, two or three companies that make kits for the car, and this was my favorite out of the two or three um, and I've talked with the owner of Junction Produce quite a bit and I knew that I wanted to get this before I even had the car so as soon as I got it I was like this is a no-brainer yeah um, it's a rear bumper uh, side skirts the door moldings and then the front bumper are all by Junction Produce. oh my god look at these wheels bro and um, these are insane so these are actually the factory wheels, and I had Wait, them- Wait, what? Yeah, um, but I had them three-piece converted by uh, Chamorro Boy 86. Yeah, if you guys aren't following him on Instagram, he does some of the coolest stuff with wheels. He's, Absolutely wicked. He's the homie, and he was able to even do uh, <laughs> spinning caps. <laughs> That's hot. Well. That so is so hot. It's just little little touches like that yeah. that I absolutely love. I love cars that are put together well, but are still subtle and yeah. not too in your face. Almost like an OE+. Plus. Exactly. Yeah, like an OE+. Plus. I love that. And this is on air suspension, obviously. What yes. system is it? So this is Airlift 3P, uh, actually on LS400 suspension. Oh! So that's a little secret about these cars, is they share suspension with the Lexus. LS4. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Can so, we look inside? Can we yeah, like absolutely. see what's going on? Yeah. Why do all Toyotas of this age smell the same? I don't I know, don't understand it. I, I don't it. understand it. This is awesome. You got all... Do all the buttons still work? All the buttons work. Dude, that's awesome. functional. It still has plastic on the door. Oh yeah. Seals here. Um, this car, when I got it from auction, was a grade four and a half B. Okay. So that was like half away from being the top tier. Grade. Yeah, almost perfect. Uh, I think it's got 54,000 miles on it. Dude, that's awesome. Um, and if you guys don't remember, the reason that a lot of times these bigger cars have super low miles from Japan is because they're a pain in the ass to actually drive. They're a pain in the ass to store. Executives exactly. don't drive that much. So that's why you can get like Celsius even for like with 32,000 miles for exactly. 10 grand. Dude. dude, this looks so good. And it was like pouring out earlier and somehow it still just looks perfect. So you got the aftermarket body kit that nobody's really gonna be able to tell because you can't you can't really see it. It just looks so perfect and flush. And you got the curtains. Did the curtains come with the car? Yes. Yeah, oh so the, my the God. Our factory. Have you ever ridden in the car versus drive it though? Once. Really? How did it feel? <laughs> Amazing. I've always ended up being the driver chauffeuring my friends though, which I, I don't hate. I love letting them experience the, the cool stuff about the car and it, it's got a ton of a ton of other things going on. You can adjust all the seats, all the controls. There's 
massaging seats, these seats recline. That's so wild. Um, and you still got the stickies, bro, on the yeah. back, too. Now, I know it's gonna look like every other, like, old Toyota engine, but can you pop the hood yeah. so we can see the V12? Yes. That is apparently only 276 horsepower oh, per gentleman's agreement of some kind. Unfortunately, <laughs> that was like every JDM car that came out of Japan, all yeah. 278 horsepower. I just never expected like the actual drivers, like the system, you know, like the tachometer and stuff. Yeah. It's so simple. Like the super actual simple. heads up is super simple, but everything else about the car is complicated as hell. There's like 9 right. million buttons. This yeah. is what it looks like, by the way. It's, it's just, just a ginormous plastic plastic cover. <laughs> cover now this is the same v12 naturally aspirated that came in Smokey nagata's v12 twin turbo supra that he did correct that that's this is the car that he actually got it from in yep. case you guys are wondering because finding v12s out of a jdm car not the not easiest the thing, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. i have a gloria that has one of these and it's like the most satisfying thing when it like pops up and mm. then goes back I down i wish this one did that that one's static right yeah it just stays just dude stays like that. you got just great <laughs> fitment on this too and you didn't like it didn't take you that long to build usually like i'm talking to people and they're like dude it's taking four years it's taking six Six years you yeah. built this in like how long four or five months how in the hell did you do that <laughs> i i am i guess pretty well knowledge with fitment stance sure. style stuff like that so i i can dial that stuff in pretty quickly and i'm just a perfectionist when it comes to that yeah stuff, and because so. you don't only have this car there's no. also an nsx hiding somewhere <laughs> in this direction that also is pretty well set up right yeah. i saw the car and i was like of course the car is on blitzes yeah. i would expect nothing less <laughs> from whoever owns that car then it's like oh yeah it's his i'm like the same guy with the century They're like yeah i'm like of course of course dude <laughs> look there, at there's, that there's so many little like facts about this car that i could go on for hours about but there's little things like all of these yeah, emblems tell are me. hand engraved. Um, all of the chrome that's on the car is hand polished. Oh, really? Hand done from just raw steel to chrome plated. Um, so you have to go to school for seven years to be able to paint one of these. All these cars are hand painted. They don't use automation. Really? And all hand painted, hand buffed. There's extra amounts of paint on these C-pillars because they wanted them to use them as a mirror when they'd get out of the car so that they could see themselves what? before they go in to work. That's so, so cool. The reflection is perfect on the C-pillars. Electronic closing rear Yeah, curtains, yeah, yeah. See like what that. like Mercedes was bragging about in the early 90s, Toyota was also doing in the early 90s. Like, right. I think sometimes people forget that like, European cars and Japanese cars at the luxury level were doing the wildest stuff back in the 90s, Crazy even the stuff. 80s. Yeah. And domestic cars, we weren't there just no, yet. We weren't there just, just yet. yet. I mean, you got the NSX, yeah. you got the Sentry. I'm yeah. assuming you got a, maybe some builds hiding in the in the future, but yeah. what's, what's like the next thing you want to take on? So, I have a Mark IV Supra. Okay. I've been building that for a while. I'm hoping that car's done in about a month or so. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna enjoy that car for a little bit, and then I'm kind of on the fence about trading it for something else. That's so dope. And I've been on the fence about a Ferrari 360 Ooh, for the woo. longest time, which I know you have your 430. Yeah, man's got taste. Man's got taste. Um, but I, it's another car that I've been eyeing for years, and mm -hmm. it's again, I already know what I want to do with it. Yeah. I have a, the whole vision set out for it. So if I could make that possible, that would be amazing. Yeah. Um, but other than that. I'm honestly extremely happy with this car. With what NSX, you got going on? Supra, all those things. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty set right now. Yeah, I can tell you, I, I can say it with confidence. A gated six-speed 360 yes. Modena. The driving experience yes. is unlike anything. Well, I appreciate it, dude. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put the lower thirds. You can see his Instagram. He does awesome stuff. Awesome content creator. It. Awesome Thank photographer. <laughs> Definitely somebody you should be keeping an eye on. An absolutely wicked car builder. I think one of my favorite things about kind of your story is you kind of do it all, yeah. and you do it all with such like integrity, the yeah. car builds, the content, the flow, the stuff, all of it feels very authentic. It feels very used. So I that is that super much. badass. That's Thank not you. a that's not a common thing. So keep it up, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank so you much, guys dude. so much. Woo!